but um now ah shoot but yeah <laughs> so many possibilities of things you can do so i like this <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am so excited to bring you guys a much requested video. A lot of times when I do jean up cycles, a lot of people ask me, well how do you turn it into a skirt? How do you turn it into a skirt? And I always refer them to a video within, a tutorial within a video and I didn't want to do that any longer because I got a direct request from Margot Taylor on Facebook and she asked me to make this amazing Alexander Wang skirt is super expensive when you can look at that skirt and know exactly well i can look at it and know exactly how to make it and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that not only from this tutorial will you learn how to make this skirt but you'll also know how to make this one by margella and this one by saint laurent so i hope you guys are super excited let's do it all right so my jeans are a pair of thrifted levi's 505s and um they're actually getting too big for me yes something's actually getting too big for once and not just too small but it will be easier if you had a pair that fit you snug in the hips and the waist but um i'm gonna show you if yours are a little bit too big how to do that as well the first thing we're going to do is cut the inside side seams apart you don't have to take them a loose cut right on the outside as close as you can get into the flat fill seam and i'll show you how to do that now all right so we have them completely open to the inside now we're going to concentrate on what to do in the front and then i'll show you what to do in the back and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing we have next top upcycler going on you don't want to miss that and if you didn't know i do have a tiktok series where i am showing you all the things that I wish I had time enough to upcycle, but I'm still sharing them with you, as well as like a couple of tips to know how to make it because there's not enough time in the day for me to complete everything. So if you're just looking for inspiration, real quick inspiration, definitely follow me there um, for that. But also here as well. All right, back to the video. All right, so if you have yours open, you'll see how this front part, in order for it to lay completely flat like a skirt wants to be, then this part wants to curve over like that. We're gonna use that to our advantage. And we're simply going to cut this once again, right next to the flat fill seam, right up to the zipper, um, until we can get this part to lay flat. You wanna cut it up until you can get it to lay flat. A lot of pants will have much longer, especially if they're women's, if you're using women's jeans, this length between the crotch seam and the zipper will be much longer. Unless you have a low rise pair or a men's pair of jeans, then like this, they'll be shorter. Now, because mine do not fit, I am going to go ahead and cut, keep cutting all the way up through the waistband. And then I'm just going to overlap everything until it fits me so once again if your jeans fit you'll cut to here right underneath the zipper if yours don't if they're too big you'll keep cutting all the way through the waistband if you have just cut to right here actually i should have cut right to right there and then showed you <laughs> if you just cut to right here you're going to lay that flat and then you're just going to top stitch it along here and down here until you get a skirt. Now, like I said, if you want your skirt to be longer or cover more of your legs, whatever, um, then make sure you get a high waist pair of jeans to do this with. Um, so you could tell like this skirt is not gonna be very long on me before it, you know, starts to open up. But you can also add a little triangle of fabric right there if you're concerned about that. But this pair of jeans is too big for me, so I am going to overlap it a little bit. That'll actually give me a little bit more length down here. And then I will top stitch this down and then top stitch this down. If you are using a regular sewing machine, make sure that you put your walking foot on and at least a number 16 needle. And if you find that the number 16 needle walking foot is not working, definitely get to the point to just go through what you can. And then those heavy points like this right here, um, and you can try to hand stitch that closed as well. 
or just use your sewing machine to go behind it and then just hand stitch just this corner down. Nobody will know. Nobody will ever know. The back is gonna be the same exact way. I'm gonna cut up to wherever will allow this to lay flat. It's never good with projects like this just to cut and then, you know, cut it all away and then find out that you cut too much, you know? All right. Cut that much, overlap it. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty much all the way, so. The reason I keep checking is because I don't want a big open gap here. All right, so I cut mm, maybe an inch away from the V part of the jeans. And then I'll, once again, top stitch this so that this section is flat. And I'll also top stitch right here as well. I forgot to say, make sure you pin everything in place before you start to sew because once you get this like away from a flat surface, like trying to sew it down, it's going to um, seem like it should be sewn much differently than it actually should. It won't stop until it's looking so far I got it to fit really well in the hips love it so I have to do some hand stitching but um now ah shoot quit murdering people um <laughs> now I need to cut it across so there there's a pin there because to see how short I am willing to go with this thing because this can like honestly the picture the inspiration has an angle going like almost straight up. It's not even like angling down. Mine is gonna have to angle down because I don't want no booty cheek out like now. So it's I think it's gonna come from there and then curve over to the side. Because the title of this video is turning jeans into a skirt. You don't have to do the asymmetrical thing. You can, at this point, cut it off right here, um, turn it into a mini skirt. If you are not crazy about a mini skirt, you can add a triangle here um, and make it a long skirt, or you can cut it off here and then add a ruffle at the end and make that type of skirt as well. So many possibilities of things you can do, so. I just got you to the point where it is technically a skirt now. <laughs> oh, uh, cut into that pin with my scissors. That's a no-no. You wanna dull your scissors, cut a pin. All right, so that's gone. And we officially have an asymmetrical skirt. All right, so I told you guys that was gonna be super easy. So let's see how I style this. But I still think about it all the time. to like this one as much as I do, but I absolutely love this. Like I was a little bit worried about how short the short side was gonna be, but yeah, <laughs> so silly. I like this, especially the way I started with this turtleneck and then the sweater on top, both of which are thrifted. I went to a very affluent neighborhood uh, to a Goodwill and found these pieces for fall, loving them. Uh, bought the boots on Amazon recently, so yes. I am digging this. Oh, and the purse is from h and I'll put all the uh, links in the description box below, but yes, I am digging this. You guys, definitely let me know which version you're interested in doing for yourself, because this has so many possibilities, even beyond what I said. I know you guys, you guys are so creative. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to reading them. And as always, I have other denim, as well as denim, jean, like jean upcycles, into other things, denim skirts, denim shirts, everything right here for you guys to watch right now. And definitely don't miss Next Top Upcycler because it's heating up. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!